Hi all, in this video let's see how to insert fiber optic balloon catheter. Intraortic balloon counterpulsation is used to help the heart to pump blood more effectively in patients with severe heart disease. Indications are cardiogenic shock, severe heart failure, acute myocardial infarction commonly known as heart attack, high risk coronary artery procedures, mechanical complications of acute myocardial infarction. There are some contraindications as well. Severe aortic regurgitation, aortic dissection, severe peripheral artery disease. There are two fiber optic catheter size which is commonly used in Sensation Plus. One is 40 cc for up to 162 cm and 50 cc for patients any taller than 162 cm. Balloon catheter insertion kit consists of two packs. One is the insertion kit, another one is the balloon catheter kit. Insertion kit consists of insertion needle, dilator, sheath, sheath dilator, guide wires for sheath and also guide wire for balloon catheter and the gas line. Balloon catheter kit consists of a fiber optic balloon catheter one-way valve and a syringe. Before the procedure, place the dilator sheet and the sheet dilator in a jug with some saline in it. Then flush the dilator sheet and the sheet dilator to make sure it's not blocked. Insert, introduce a dilator into sheath hub and twist lock in place to secure. Flush the guide wires as well. Using ultrasound guidance which is preferred or palpation, uh, locate the target artery. Insert a needle into the artery at a 45 degree angle. Confirm arterial access by pulsatile blood return. Advance the sheath guide wire which is 55 cm long through the needle into the artery. Remove the needle while leaving the guide wire in place. Advance sheath introducer over the guide wire and into the artery using the rotatory motion. Withdraw the introduce a dilator with the guide wire, leaving the sheath in place. In the meantime, get the intraortic balloon catheter ready for insertion. Firmly attach one-way valve to male lower fitting of intraortic balloon catheter and connect empty syringe to the other end and apply around 30 cc of vacuum. Remove the syringe while keeping the one-way valve attached to the intraortic balloon catheter. Pass the fiber optic red cable to the perfusionist to connect to the console to calibrate before the catheter is inserted. This is to ensure you get a waveform while inserting the catheter to identify whether it's in the artery, not in the vein.
get the ECG waveform in the console screen. Insert the intraoretic balloon guide wire which is 145cm long through the sheath and place it in the descending iota. Advance the catheter into the descending thoracic iota, usually under fluoroscopic guidance to ensure proper positioning. Insert the intraoretic balloon catheter over the guide wire through the sheath introducer. Once the guide wire is removed, attach the three-way tap to the central lumen and aspirate. Ensure there is no air and flush and close the three-way tap towards the patient. Once positioned, disconnect the one-way valve from the intraoretic balloon catheter. Connect the female end of the gas extension tube and pass the male end to the perfusionist. Connect the intraoretic balloon catheter to the console. Position of the tip of the balloon catheter just distal to the left subclavian artery and the base of the catheter above the renal artery. ECG signal is commonly used as a trigger. Once connected properly, the console will display the ECG and the pressure waveform and make sure setting is at auto. Usually started at 1 is to 1 ratio with the maximum augmentation. The console will initiate counterpulsation by inflating and deflating the balloon in synchronization with the cardiac cycle. Inflating during diastole to increase coronary perfusion and deflate just before systole to reduce the afterload and improve cardiac output.